Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of the vlog. We have the wife. Hello. And the Billy. And the puppy. Yes, we have the puppy. <laughs> Came up to hang out, enjoy his three day weekend and relaxation and out of the chaos of his day to day life. This is some country life, sort of. <laughs> uh, at least I know any gunshots out here are just friendly fire. That's right. <laughs> Target practice out here. So what is the stuff you put on your, your vegetables? Spice farms, uh, grow big, tiger bloom, and then another type of feed. And you just add it to the water and sprinkle it on the stuff? Tablespoons to gallons and spray it on the when it's high concentration, then there's what they call foliage feed. Barely using anything. Spray that on the leaves. Seems to work. It's getting mad growth out of it. Mad wicked growth. And we grew our first poblano. Poblano pepper. Mm -hmm. Yay. And the tomatoes are finally starting to turn red. And there's zucchini blooms all over the zucchini. And it's time to harvest the romaine. Is it really? Mm -hmm. well, that's awesome. And our green onions flowered? <laughs> yes. We keep green onions in the windowsill all the time whenever we eat and they uh, put the roots in the water and blow the glass on. We do it all the time. That's what we said when we're using them in the bathroom. Oops. Meh. They grew blooms. If you're bored out of your mind and watching this video and want something to do afterwards, you could look up this, uh, this trend of make uh, gardens not grass or grow gardens not grass I think is what it is. No, I still like my grass. No harm. <laughs> well if you want to put on your your tinfoil hat we could talk about the meat shortage. <laughs> Tyson Chicken uh, had another C-19 show up 600 employees. Wow. 600 employees with C-19. Chicken thing sick, keep shipping them. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's, back in the day, the Great Depression, a lot of stuff, people didn't grow grass, they grew gardens. Especially like it's a big trend in Japan and stuff. People love that food. That is cheaper to bring than it is to go to the damn grocery store and buy it. Junk food costs less than milk. That's right. Especially like the romaine and the green onions because you can, um, they're so easy to regrow. Yeah. If you cut it and then just keep it in water and take care of it, you can keep regrowing it. Oh, I just for the hell of it, I took that buggy planter I did for my mom that she never did anything with. I planted a bunch of herbs, but the only thing that grew in it was parsley. Like, beast. Yeah. I trimmed all the parsley back without killing it. Added in that black cow. Yep. And, uh, fed that and then planted the whole bottom things radishes and they all sprouted within three days wow <laughs> the romaine that i did in the other half of the top was parsley on the left i'm trying to do romaine on the right nothing there either. but the radishes are just like hey thanks <laughs> anybody <laughs> that's awesome i think the herbs we grow are we have oregano and lavender sage lemon thyme experiment Spearmint, yes, lots of spearmint. Peppermint. Jesus, we got some spearmint. Yeah, yeah, that stuff will take off. Yeah, yeah. spearmint and peppermint and basil. 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 Cilantro is good too. I'm trying that. Yeah. We used to grow that. Yeah. Rosemary, I keep trying and have had no luck at it. With Those rosemary? Like, oh, this stuff grows like crazy. It's like, well, I don't know. I'm going to be wrong because it ain't grown at all. Okay, <laughs> rosemary is like a weed, basically. Yeah. That's what people have told me is like, well, it's probably just the lighting or the. I don't know. I ain't right? seen it yet. <laughs> I don't know. Probably something stupid I'm doing. So. What's the vegetable that you plant next to tomatoes and they uh, help each other? Marijuana. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, think, uh, I, know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I think marigolds help keep bugs off, but I don't remember how the which vegetables help the other vegetables. No, there's a vegetable you can plant next to tomatoes. And the tomatoes uh, take what the other one gives and symbiotically flip around and give something to the other one. Well, guys, I guess that uh, 
concludes our day of the footage. I hope you enjoyed your farming lessons. That's right. Tune in for the night video. Talk to you later. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the night ride. I'm gonna make Mike's hauling ass. Down the street, Billy. Let's have fun. <laughs> Cornfields have doubled in size in over a week. It's crazy. How do you feel riding a two thousand dollar toy? Yeah. All right, audio sucks. I haven't hooked up the mic back yet. Need to do that. Ooh, we're speeding. We're not speeding. Had chicken wings grilled by Billy for lunch. Got a nice twenty-seven dollar, twenty-three dollar, twenty-seven dollar uh, prime sirloin for dinner tonight. Should be banging. Hi Jen, shout out, thinking of you. I need to call you as soon as I get on my bike ride. Straight, I guess. Ooh. Nice old man bike. But it's an old man driving a nice Jeep with an old man bike and a nice trailer. Sounds like what old men do. The older we get, the cooler toys we get. I think that's how it works. Do we know anybody that does sound systems in the Statesboro area? I am missing my boom boom. So weird. All right, everybody. I'm gonna enjoy my ride. Enjoy your B-roll, and I'll see you later. You know, like zero speed, top gear, and when the pedal is like, nope, it's not moving. <laughs> I wonder why.
Oh, that's 35, 38. Well, no, your th oh, if you activate your thumb, it'll go all the way. Traffic? What's traffic? We ain't getting no traffic. <laughs> Right. I don't know if you saw the post or not, but all the weed killer and stuff we used, and it just wasn't working. <laughs> nah, we're very white. <laughs> Stop. <laughs>